You're looking good. Okay. Nice cool. beard. Thank you, man. <laughs> you too, you... man. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. I saw you just came back from uh, from traveling. Yeah, yeah. I just went to Texas. Wow, man. How was it? Yeah. Oh, it was awesome, man. I really like it there. Really cool. Man, Nick, mm -hmm. I, I need to give you a, a short introduction for the, the few people that don't that don't know you. So mm -hmm. big Nick, man, I'm uh as, as you go by your name, I'm a really big fan of yours and a lot of other people as well. And of course, we are working already some time together with Delca Talents. But when I have to tell who you are and to describe you in one sentence, I won't succeed. Because <laughs> you're the type, you're the type of content creator that adapts all the time. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask you the question. Are you the Vine guy? Are you the, <laughs> are you the guy that took David Dobrik into, into YouTube, right? <laughs> I'm the everything guy. Or, or are you the current guy that's a rapper and taking, you know, Christ and religion really serious, which I want to dive I'm into. I'm all of them. I'm all oh. of them. That's the journey. <laughs> so who, from, from which part of you are you most proud? Uh, I, say, I say this current journey has been the best. Right. So far. That's why it's you been, um, it's 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 been the most uh I mean it hasn't been easy, but it's been you know, it's been for the most right. part really right. great in right. life, you know. Hundred percent. And I think yeah. it's really your 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 special guy, man. You're you're a person that your journey <laughs> shows a lot of your success as well, the kind of person you are. I remember the first conversation we had, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you get into Vine? And yeah. you were in, in, in your hardest part of your life. You said, you know, screw everything. Fuck it. I'm going to go all in. And yeah, yeah. I'm going to do my own thing. So can you tell a little bit more about your personality and why you decided to create content in the first place? Because for yeah, you, it's yeah. not about being famous. And I said it really mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I first started when I was... Uh, I was just recovering from an operation from surgery and I used to be like a class clown in school. Right. So I always like were, were, was making jokes. I was making funny stuff, but I just didn't have an outlet for it. And so when I was recovering from my surgery, when I was like a young kid, um, I was starting to experiment with short form comedy digitally. Right. And it just so happened to blow up out of nowhere. And, um, I just kept making more and more content, you know, like, uh, and, and one thing blew up after another and it was kind of just, it's like the next few years, it was like, you know, it just went by so fast because I was just in the moment but making what, content, right? What do, you, what do you mean with, I want to go back to blowing up, right? Because a lot of creators talk about blowing up, but it's not like, or maybe in your situation, it is really rare it happens Seldom mm -hmm. it happens that someone blows up after the first post or the second post they put online. So how was mm -hmm. it for you? Yeah, it was like a post I made, like it didn't blow up right away. It took like, I think it took like over a month. And um, pretty quick though. then I was, I remember I was in, in uh, I was doing a theater show in right. San Diego because I used to be a theater kid and I was in the dressing room and then I'm just like scrolling on my vine and I'm seeing that like my video has like over 10,000 shares. Yeah. <clears throat> and to me, that was a lot at the time. Like then the video got to like a couple hundred thousand shares and likes, but that was the first time I noticed like, wow, Damn. I have a video that's actually really like gaining traction, you know, and right. it started to go bigger after that. Right. Right. And so I just took that moment to capitalize on, I'm making more videos because I was like, okay, people like this stuff. Like people yeah. like what I'm doing. And I just like, I don't know how, but I was just coming up with ideas. They were just hitting like, it was like, man, I was, I was destined to do that or something, you know? <laughs> it's funny because most content creators, they stick with one thing, right? Or you're yeah, that yeah. one guy goes to YouTube, became part of the vlog squad, you know? And then mm. you said, you know what? I don't really enjoy it. There were some problems. You, you weren't happy doing mm -hmm. it right in the crew. Mm -hmm. For you, yeah. mindset is extremely important. A lot of a lot of creators out there, which makes sense, they, they, okay, I do it for the fame. This works. Let's continue with it. Right, 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 right. But you're like, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's amazing to work with David Dobrik, the crew. 
they're really mm-hmm. famous, but I'm not happy. Right, right. And so, like, that's the thing is, like, I want to let people know that, you know, happiness has to come before anything, right? And you shouldn't let your your hunger for more success, more money mm. um, hinder your happiness. And so for me, it was just like, okay, how can I really take what has been presented to me and just and just soar in a completely different direction? And so for that, it was music for me. And then I started making music and then, um, and then that was cool. And then it was back in the summer when I, um, like you were saying, I really started following Christ when I was like, you know what, like I have mm-hmm. to change stuff that I'm doing, but it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be like too far off from the style of music I was doing. So yeah. I'm still making like hip hop trap music, yeah. but I've just made like a, like a gospel one. So it sounds yeah. really, really fire. Like it sounds yeah. like modern music you would hear today, but really cool. the lyrics are a lot more positive, yeah. a lot more uplifting. And right. I just right. made that EP not too long ago and like I really love it like I I've been bumming it in the car all the time yeah. you know and I'm really excited to drop that that's yeah, gonna be man. my next big thing when when is so. gonna, when is it gonna be launched soon soon I I don't Thank have you. an exact date yet, <laughs> but like it's we are, I'm, I'm we are ready to get it out there man <laughs> like it's too good you know <laughs> uh legend but but Nick I want to go back one second um to what you said because For a lot of people, okay, you're a content creator, you were in the group, et cetera. And you said, you know, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make music that makes me more happy. And you got successful mm-hmm. with it as well. But it's not that easy. It's your, mm-hmm. it's your, it's your income. It's what right. people know you for currently. Mm-hmm. You have a lot of, lot of people judging you all the freaking time, mm-hmm. especially you. Mm-hmm. It's not like one day you wake up, you know what? It doesn't make me so happy. I'm gone. Right. What, right. what is this process? Why did you, how did you decide? And of course, you have the right people surrounded by you as well. Yeah, yeah. Like the thing that, you, that, that made you decide, screw it. I'm going to go into my next, next project and I'm going to be on my yeah, own. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I always liked singing, you know? I knew when I was like a little kid, I would sing at like family uh, events. I sang at my uncle's wedding, a uh, song in Hindi, actually, which is like um, yeah, kind of like our, our culture, our background, you know, like w- I'm, I'm Indian. So Hindi is like a yeah. is like a very prevalent thing. I don't really know it anymore. Yeah. I guess I knew it then, <laughs> but I just I got dumbed down back to knowing one language, which is English. <laughs> but but um. Yeah, like, and then I did a men's ensemble in middle school. So, like, I always had, uh, before the videos, I always was doing music somehow. You know, I loved it. And so, one day it hit me, like, you know what? I can do this. I can do music. Right. You right. know, and in the beginning, it wasn't that great. I had to practice a lot. Right. I had to figure out, like, my flow, what I was doing. Yeah. Back then I was just doing like just rap. I was just rapping, but I didn't really have any like like m- melody, any structure, any flow. And then yeah. I started to learn that more as I was practicing more. And yeah, the the new stuff that I'm making, man, it's like it's just really, really like uh amazed at how far I've taken this stuff. And I'm just really grateful that I was able to learn this and keep it going. You know, a lot of people make music and then it's they're just like, whatever. It's like a it's like a little gimmick to get more views. But me, I've been going at it for like a you, few years. You're now, the opposite, you know? you're the opposite yeah. because to be honest, your audience is with you because of the comedy, you know, mm-hmm. what you're known for. And right. it takes a huge amount of confidence and not giving mm-hmm. a AF at, at the same time by just switching your content mm-hmm. and we have seen it with people that are really confident in what they're doing and it works you mm-hmm, know like mm-hmm. for example jake paul did with his boxing it only works for it right, right. Shit for it but <laughs> you know yeah 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 Dude, <laughs> no, they, the the brothers, man, they're really smart i was just thinking about it the other day because um i was at the gym and i seen like people on tv talking about it exactly. and i'm like dude these paul brothers man they have found a way to like extend their longevity on social media for so long because they were also online too man like 
you know so they're yeah i mean marketing wise they're very very smart you know so is this part of your marketing strategy as well because i saw it and it happened to jake paul as well your following is gonna get, gonna be in you know um badly influent mm -hmm. for a little bit it's gonna be have mm -hmm. a negative effect effect sure sure mm -hmm. but at the same time you know who your, your loyal followers are right exactly like the way for, for specific reason right right is there the, like the way i view it is like i would rather have like people who are who are dedicated yeah. than people who are just tuning in like yeah. that don't really care they're just tuning in because they see yeah. me in other videos yeah. and so for me back in the day it used to be like gain more gain more gain more now it's mm -hmm. like no reshape the demographic and if i'm gaining less that's mm -hmm perfectly fine with me because yeah. i've already gone through the highs and lows of the social media dopamine of gaining followers gaining likes so to me now it's like as long as i can just maintain like my core audience the 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 rest of the logistics the analytics it doesn't really like i don't know it just doesn't really influence me the way it used to now i'm not saying people should should give up on trying to um to gain a presence no gain the presence but like don't try and hold on to that presence compromising yeah. your values even if it may uh make you lose some yeah you yeah. know it's it's two things i see with you a lot and i have to ask it again your family and and the people surrounded by you are really really helping you out there really give you that mm -hmm. confidence boost together mm -hmm. with things you unfortunately you know from a young age had to experience right mm -hmm. physically yeah. and therefore mentally Right. Are you at a point where you're like, <laughs> I only live this life <laughs> and I want to, and I want to make the best out of it for myself. And that's why you really don't care because it seems yeah, like you really I don't care about I it. It's like, I've gone through stuff mm -hmm. in life that was like really crazy and yeah. I could have let it hold me back and, yeah. and I haven't. And because of that, like I continue to have that, like, Amazing. soldier mentality you know like this yeah. this life is truly a battle but like exactly. you know we got to come out victorious man yeah. you know yeah. and so that's my attitude with a lot of stuff man yeah. and um i gotta keep that you know that's something that that really helps you know having that mindset beautiful and how are you putting that you know the religion which is of course right now really impactful for you really important mm -hmm, mm -hmm. together with rap you're just a passionate person every time you're going to be passionate about something else yeah yes. yeah uh, like yeah i've just been taking my talents from like learning how to do the 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 mainstream trap music and i've just been doing the same flows doing the same yeah. delivery but yeah. just changing the message man you know like awesome. uh I would have never thought, <laughs> I would have never thought like a few years ago, man, that I'd be like a, like a Christian dude, <laughs> you know, yeah. I actually used to like, uh, make fun of that stuff, but like in the summer, yeah. um, you know, I had a really crazy surreal like, encounter with God and, uh, it like completely changed my mind about so much, man. And I, I wasn't expecting it, but it yeah. happened and here I am and I'm just thankful I'm thankful for that. And, and wow. I just want to continue to, uh, to keep wow. going on. And that's really interesting because it changes a lot also for the, for the viewers. And this is just mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. this is what you're doing. It's really like a lifestyle. Can you tell us like what exactly happened that you were able mm. to get such an experience and really change your whole yeah, life? Yeah. Like you were, of course. You were. Yeah. So I guess like in the beginning of, a of the lockdown i just wanted to find truth you know yeah. and so um i just searched up a lot of stuff i was i was finding a lot of dark stuff but it and, and it was leading me to the light and right. a lot of the dark stuff i was i was finding was um was leading me to picking up a bible because it, it had a lot to say about this weird stuff i never knew existed you know and so i was like okay like i'll just buy one and i'll just be a more open-minded you know like mm -hmm. it, it I, I was learning stuff that was challenging like my reality and um i was breaking like my cognitive dissonance of being ignorant to what i only know yeah. you know mm -hmm. because i was learning a lot of new stuff that i didn't think were real yeah and about the bible i started reading it and then one day i was just like you know what 
like I'm just I'm just gonna be open minded. I'm gonna be humble. Like I'm gonna repent to Jesus for like all the sins that I've that wow. I've done. Like I, I'm not like it was just very different. It was a different yeah. thing for me to do. I don't usually do that. I actually used to be really a prideful when it when it comes to to God. Like my mom yeah. when I moved into this mansion, she's like, God did this for you. I was like, No, I did it for me. Like yeah. I was so hard headed, you know. And um right. And, and but now here I am like on my knees praying to Jesus asking him to forgive me and then I didn't know what this was at the time I figured it out after but I felt this like this warm rush of like warmth and love encompass my entire body to right. the point where like it, it felt like I, I was like high on some drug but I wasn't it was like it's called the Holy Spirit you know and and, and it's what gets descended onto people who mm-hmm. give their life to the Lord like it's a real supernatural thing and I felt it encompass my whole body to the point where I started crying like yeah. and like snot was coming out of my nose and it was yeah. disgusting but like yeah. it was something I never experienced in my 22 wow. years of living you know I never felt this and I was like wow like this is like more than just reading a book like this is a real life experience and from that day on I just had a change of hard about a lot of things in life a lot of things that I'm doing and um you know that experience changed me forever man like this this is who I am like because of that and you know that's really interesting and and do you consider yourself before that you weren't a spiritual people a person at all you just became curious about you know you saw some dark stuff and you mm. wanted to know okay why is it out there yeah you to kind of find yourself as well mm-hmm. and that's how you got into it yeah yeah i before i before i was pretty like um like atheistic you know yeah and just didn't really care wow because i just didn't really um take the time out of my day to like to look into this stuff man you know to see to see what is what is truth in life and i just i don't know i was preoccupied with a lot of other stuff right i had the career going on yeah um and so i just didn't care but like the lockdown for me it, it 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 put me in a position where like all I had was like the ability to retain knowledge yeah. and to understand God. And I'm really thankful for that lockdown because if it wasn't for it, maybe I would have been distracted still like doing other stuff. You know, in LA, Hollywood. Yeah. Like, yeah. and, and I think everything happens for a reason. Right. So um, I'm just glad that, yeah. that I went through all that stuff because it, it changed who I am like even more. I, I, do want to, I do want to say one thing, man um and this has nothing to do with believing or not you you're the one you're for me it's really really clear why you're successful and it's it's also really because of you Mm -hmm. because you put all the hard work in and Mm -hmm. people give shit people are positive but at the end of Mm -hmm, the day mm -hmm. many things are the things that affect you yeah but still you're in your own way again Mm -hmm. like who would leave the biggest influencer place out there <laughs> right right my mom too she was you. Like, she was she was like she was like so confused she's like what are you doing like you're missing out on merch you're missing out on this that i'm like mom it's yeah, it's, it's deeper than that you know what i mean like it's it's a lot deeper than just yeah. what meets what meets the eye yeah. and like i'm still cool like yeah. with david like um i'm so cool with some some people there but like yeah you know you know how it is man if you're in a big group with a lot of people and mm. and, and and you guys just don't vibe then you don't click don't it's like being in 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 a, in a, in a job mm. and you're there because like you know the person that's kind of running the job and you're cool with them but the other people are kind of like outsiders for you it's, and you don't really relate you know so there was just no like there wasn't that much compatibility with with the whole Mm. um group idea i was individually friends with a few people in there and so mm. that was one thing that just really like mm. i don't know this is like i was showing up to a job every day that like you the did. co-workers i just i don't know i just didn't really click with that well you know but it's it, it's one thing they saw in you what i also see is that at the end of the day when it comes to the business side of it which is is they saw a lot of opportunity in including you Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but you couldn't be Definitely, yourself at yeah. the same time by being with those people but i think right. at the same time when you went into it and why you took i think david also into into vine right 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we we collaborated like um he actually was like a fan of me back in the day. So we made like some videos. He messaged me when he was coming to LA and I got to meet up with him and Alex Ernst. And um right. yeah, we like we started doing videos like way, way back. We were going to like creator events and stuff. Like um it was it's been a long you know it's crazy because it's only been a few years but like you know you realize life kind of feels like a long time tell me about it you're both young man 24 22 right yeah yeah so oh you're 24 yeah man yeah oh nice man so yeah you are yeah you're like still there man you know man man, (laughs) i'm doing i'm doing without the social media in front of my face yeah yeah i I also (laughs) imagine social media sees you grow up your whole life dude (laughs) (laughs) how would that be (laughs) yeah man like i tell you the truth working with all those creators makes makes me see really the I'm, i'm an optimistic person and and it sees you know, the optimistic side of it as well, because to tell you the truth, it motivates you as well to, to show your message and spread it out there with the people that are following you. Right, right. And I think, you know, we are, what I see in you, you're hungry. You want to you wanna be different in the mm-hmm. world and, and you, you are. People talk about you, right? How <laughs> many articles they want to write from you, you know? How many? Yeah, yeah, man. No, hey, the, the, no, matter, no matter what I'm doing, people... <laughs> People love to talk, man. And so, you didn't want to wear a mask. Can I get an interview with them? Right, right. All publicity, I would say all publicity is good publicity because there are some that's like really bad, but yeah. like that has to relate to like people doing like perverted stuff, you know. But like most publicity yeah. is yeah. good publicity, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, 100%. so unless yeah. it gets to the whole like, then people start getting allegations about one another then that's our that's not that great no, no, of course. You know? but like but like you get yeah. the point though most, most I, 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 I think i get your point about that 99 of it is pretty good you know yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> but i i saw um wow i saw some uh hectic things happening out there by the way um with uh you know the person also losing uh partly of his eye as well right mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i saw that too man um yeah. That's crazy. I, I heard about that story a long time ago, but I just didn't know yeah. to the extent you like didn't... how severe it was. You're not talking with him, right? Um, I spoke yeah. to Jeff on the phone like like a few weeks ago, right. but um <clears throat> I didn't talk to him about that incident, but I knew about that incident uh a long time ago. I knew that's why mm-hmm. um I know I knew that's why David stopped blogging. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know that it was that Damn, yeah. uh that intense. I just right. thought he like jumped off of a roof or something right. and and got hurt. I didn't know it was like a crane, mm-hmm. you know. And so I watched that video and I was like yeah. like I was like I was like no way, like that's mm-hmm. crazy, you know? Like the yeah. guy almost lost his life. It's insane. It's insane. It's, you know. Uh... And so I, I think people also can yeah. can take from this like some yeah. people need to slow down you know not everything is about shock value because like you don't want to get somebody killed you know yeah. like that's never yeah. the plan of course not it's you don't want to have that like insane. on your conscience it's insane how um how big of an impact this can have on on your life as well right and mm-hmm. sharing everything what you're doing has its positive effects and also their negative as, as ever, right. you know, the best. Mm-hmm. But uh, man, I want to go back to the positive side. I want to talk about you. Um, of course, this is part of who you are as well. But I'm, I'm really excited to see where you're going, Ed. Mm-hmm. How you change the content. I know there's a strategy behind it. And, uh, and man, all, all, all the best. And I'm, I'm here to, to see that success of you. Share it with us. But, uh, Thanks, man. But man. Dude, shout out to Delta Talents, man. These guys are great. You're great. You know, if you're if you're an influencer and you're looking for representation, man, you gotta definitely uh-huh. hit them up. You gotta check them out. You know, they're Appreciate they're great it. people, great, great energy. Um, you know, and they and they're they're about what they say. So you guys gotta definitely go check them out and support yeah, them. Appreciate and it, man. It's uh, it's up. about uh, the person behind it. And um again, same for you. Thanks, man. Good Appreciate luck. it. Bye, Nick. Yeah, Enjoy your day. Good morning. All right, man. Have a great one. Bye-bye. All right. Peace. Bye-bye.